From out of nowhere, Donald Trump, the real estate multimillionaire, has moved from rank outsider to favorite for the Republican presidential nomination. Here with me to discuss the implications is Martin Wolf, chief economics commentator of the Financial Times. Martin, how worried should we be? Well, I think it's incredibly worrying if he does get the nomination. At the moment, it, that looks quite likely. He obviously has a chance of becoming president. Uh, it seems to me obvious that he's entirely unsuited uh, to this in terms of experience. And even worse, he has fought a xenophobic campaign. He has uh, applauded torture. He has uh, argued that 11 million people should be rounded up and driven out of the country. This, this is, is quite transformative. A, quite, quite a charge count here, but he would say, look, I'm a businessman. I know how to cut a deal. Look at President Obama over the last eight years. He couldn't deal with Congress. I'm the man. Well, that's what really worries me. I think if there were a Republican Congress still, which is very likely, and Trump as president, it is very likely he will be able to do a great many things that he says he will do. The American presidency is an immensely powerful office. It was established to be Alexander Hamilton, the great founding father of the US, uh, argued explicitly for an energetic executive, and it is. If you back by Congress, too, a man like Trump, uh, with his lack of restraint, lack of self-restraint, even self-awareness, could do anything. Checks and balances, Martin. You and I have read the Federalist Papers, what Madison uh, 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 said about how this new republic could work. What about the Supreme Court? That's been historically the check on strong presidents. Think of Roosevelt. Yes, but not always. Uh, um, Roosevelt famously managed to intern over 100,000 Japanese. Uh, not so very different from... He tried to pack the Supreme Court that, and lost. Yes, that is, that is, that is uh, true. But uh, Mr Trump, the new, uh, if you were the president, would be able to put his own person in, in so the Conservatives would clearly have a majority. He would argue that it's a national emergency. He could argue that actually these people are all there illegally, so he's actually entitled to act. Would the Supreme Court actually say no? We would have to see, of course. But uh, the Congress, I think, would probably be quite amenable. And the pressure on the Supreme Court in this context might be really very, very great. Um, Mr. Trump might say, I'm running a very successful campaign. I'm, gonna, I'm going through Super Tuesday. I've carried uh, states in the South. I've carried uh, New Hampshire, South Carolina by a big win. But once I come up against likely Hillary Clinton, I'll pivot to the center. Well, he might say anything. Who knows what he would amount to? But basically what he's done, he's, he's uh, lived off, awakened, stimulated fear, rage and hatred as the classic uh, weapon of the populist demagogue. Uh, this Any is, historical parallels, Martin? Well, is this George Wallace uh, in the 1960s? George Wallace in, in, but of course he was never stood for president. It was very significant in this regard. Uh, of course, people th would refer to a, a Mussolini. Uh, Mussolini? Even to the extreme case, of course, uh, 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 Hitler. Now, I'm not suggesting he's a Hitler. Not at all. He clearly isn't. But he's a right-wing populist demagogue, and he would, if he became president, and that's the really fundamental thing, be running the most important and most powerful uh, democratic and, indeed, any sort of nation in the world. That really is scary. Martin Wolf, I'm holding on to my hat. Thank you very much.